Okay, so I've got the three images, my iceberg, sky, and water. I'm going to select all three, drag them into my layers, so they're all in the project there now. And then I'm going to rearrange them in the right order, because we need the sky at the back, and then we need the water in front of the iceberg. I'm just going to drag around the water, and... So this is what it's look, it'll look like, and I'll get the water to bob about a bit as well, and I'll get the iceberg to bob, but I'll get them to come in first. So, first of all, I'm going to set a keyframe uh, three seconds in where I want them to end. So I'm going to select, first of all, the water, I'll go to the inspector, go to properties, and then I'm going to keyframe the position, and I'm also going to keyframe the rotation and the scale. I don't need to, but I'm going to... Then I'm going to keyframe where the iceberg is at the exact same point in time by doing the same process. Select the layer and then click it to make it yellow. And then the sky will be exactly the same. I'm going to keep the sky there the whole time there. I'm going to drag my timeline slider back to the start of the project. I'm going to select the C. And all I'm going to do, because I've already set that first keyframe two seconds in now, I don't need to set another keyframe. If I just drag and move my C, then it will keyframe it for me. I do exactly the same with the iceberg. I'm going to drag that down even further. And because they've got those keyframes in three seconds in, it's worked out the keyframe at the start as well. When I click play now, you should see they come in. And now what we need to do is just simulate a bit more life and movement. So with the, uh, the iceberg, I'm going to keep that selected. And I'll just make it bob a little. So I'll let it get to its natural resting point there move it along another couple of seconds and then I'll drag it down for another keyframe move the timeline slider along drag it up drag it down and we're just going to simulate it bobbing around and I've only set one keyframe I've set one keyframe at the start and that's all I've done motion's working out all the rest whenever I move the timeline slider and then move the asset it's doing it for me and now when we move along it should look like it's bobbing around a little bit through that simple keyframe So it's not perfect, but we could go back through and change those keyframes if we wanted, but we've got the motion there. So we'll do exactly the same with the water now. So we've got the water layer, and just to simulate a little bit of life and movement, once it's gone into its position, to its first keyframe there, I'll scale this one. In fact, that's what we'll do for this one. So I'll just drag the scale up a little. Down a little, and we'll just do that. To simulate the waves moving. So it's just a simple scale, and that's all keyframing is. You only set the one, and as long as you move your timeline slider after you set that first keyframe, and change the properties every time you do it, it'll just simulate that movement. <coughs> Simple animation. Keyframe is easy. It's just getting it into your head what it is. It's all about setting your first keyframe at a certain point in time, then move it to a different point in time, and just changing the properties. So whatever, if you set the keyframe for position, rotation, and scale, you could then move it around, scale, or rotate it as much as you want. And you know, then you start thinking, you know, artistically, how am I going to do this? So maybe what I'd want is I'd actually want the water. If I move along to that first keyframe, two seconds in or whatever, maybe I actually I don't want it to come up two seconds in. Maybe there, if I undo that keyframe, maybe I want it to come in a lot quicker than the iceberg. So, you know, just think about your timing. Make it a bit snappy. <coughs> And that's all keyframe and animation is. Now to make the actual stuff, I use Photoshop myself because I find that easier. But you could download it from the internet. You could make it with emotion yourself if you wanted to. It's a bit trickier, but you can do it. Some simple changes. 